Perfect. Marcus Schuster, MD of Audi Singapore. You are joining us from the Art Science Museum. And wow, a special exhibit happening over there right now with Audi, the House of Progress. And what is the House of Progress, Marcus? Okay, first of all, hi, Glenn. Hi, Juliana. Nice to, nice to see you there. I just too. hung out with Marcus this week. <laughs> yeah, I know. We, we, we've already met here at the House of Progress. So. We have. Um, yeah, guys, welcome to the House of Progress. We're at the Art Science Museum here, and we're super excited about this exhibition and to share some of it uh, with you guys and take you through the exhibition also uh, for Great. you and, uh, and all your viewers. Uh, so, so the House of Progress... Uh, is a concept that Audi uh, launched uh, some time ago, and uh, we want to bring the idea of Vorsprung durch Technik, so progress through technology, uh, to the biggest and, and most dynamic cities in the world. And obviously, Singapore is on the top of the list for us uh, for that. Mm. And it's the first time that the House of Progress is in uh, Singapore and in Southeast Asia, uh, after some other places like Tokyo, like Milan, like Montreal. And we're super excited uh, that we could open it uh, actually yesterday here and hmm. uh, already have a lot of people coming in, as you might see in the background. Fantastic. Okay. And what, uh, what are, I would yeah. say, I'll tell, just tell take us about you some of the special things then, we've seen. Hmm. Then we go. Sorry, go ahead. He's taking us through, but I must tell you, I was there on an early preview yeah. on Thursday, and I've seen the cars. I've seen the place. It's awesome. Please take a look. Pretty amazing, huh? Yeah, I'll show them to you, too. So, so the House of Progress is, is a place that we, uh, that we built and that we imagine as a place to, to come together to talk and discuss about uh, what the future of mobility, but also the future of society in general will be. And uh, so, so it's, it's really a place where people can come together and think about what the future in general is going to be. And uh, so we have a lot of very immersive uh, showcases here. And of course, the stars of the show are the cars, right? Uh, but mm -hmm. we start here with a very beautiful installation uh, that is made by a, a local uh, artist, Mabel Lowe. And she's taken paper and, uh, and metal and created this wonderful art piece, which is super light. It, it moves with the airflow that's created by the people. And uh, it shows a little bit how lightness in this construction uh, can, can make a big impression. Beautiful. Wow, this, okay. is, a, this is so and cool looking. We've got to go in. We've got to see the cars. We yeah, haven't seen it yet. Exactly. Yeah, I want to invite you to come in. <laughs> that's an R8, is it not? That's, that's an R8. So uh, we have here the most exciting cars that we have in our car range and also some cars that are going to come to Singapore in the future. Uh, we start with the R8. So the R8 is our petrol flagship sports car. And it's, uh, it's very close to my heart because when the R8 was launched in the first generation in 2007, I was working as a product manager for the R8 at Audi mm. AG. So for me, wow. this is a very special car because, uh, well, I, I it's a very beautiful help, car, help Marcus, launch it. I'm not going to deny. It's super beautiful and yeah. mm -hmm. super dynamic. And what we did here, we put the R8 together with our new sports car flagship, which is the e-tron GT. And the e-tron oh, yes. GT shows you how we imagine sports cars in the future, in a fully electrified future. So what you can see here, already a lot of people, um, the RS e-tron GT um, is fully electric. Uh, it accelerates from zero to 103.2 seconds. Wow. So it really gives you a punch. It's a super sports car values uh, in a sustainable package. And uh, I told you we have some immers immersive showcases here. And uh, so here, for example, you can just pick up these wonderful Bang Olufsen headphones. And it's mm. a start which actually you can hear how the sound of the Audi e-tron GT is composed out of different sound sources. And it's really interesting to hear that. And, and, and really, it, it gives you much more of an idea how much creativity goes into, into these wonderful cars. And Marcus, okay. if I can just jump in, I, and, and thank yeah. you so much. This tour is awesome. We're, we're speaking with Marcus Schuster, the managing director of Audi Singapore. What are you hoping at, at the end of the day that, that folks will take away from this 
exhibition that you have. We know the Art Science Museum. We've had them on many times over the years, uh, showing us the wonderful work that they do to blend art and science. Uh, and certainly, you know, beautiful automobiles fit into that. But what are you hoping that people will take away after they walk through the exhibit and they see the amazing cars that you've brought and the other experiences? Yeah. So, so for us, it's super important with this showcase to really inspire people to think about the future and to think how our future and future of mobility is going to look like and to give them an, an idea of how ima we imagine this future. So, mm. so when people walk out of here, uh, we hope that they really got a glimpse on what's up in the future and, and that this future is very bright. So, so we, we will walk into a very sustainable future with our brand and uh, so the, the Audi brand will be fully electrified uh, until the beginning of 2030 and mm. uh, we, 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 want, we want people to really come here, get together, also get to know other people and talk to other people uh, about what the future is going to be like. So if people take that away, we're super happy. So Glenn, Marcus, having had a chance to go through the exhibit before it opened, my opinion is that the piece, the resistance, is the Grand Sphere concept car in the middle. The one yes. that I took many pictures with mm. right behind the stage when I spoke. If you could take us there, Marcus. It's the one where there. it's driverless, futuristic, electric, and ultimately the future of where perhaps all cars will look like in the future. Yeah, yeah. I think we're walking towards yeah, I'm it. taking you there right now. And this is... Um, extremely exciting car so it's the first time that we show this car in Southeast Asia hmm. uh, it's been presented in some of the, the biggest uh, cities in the world already and it's a car that is really really exciting because it shows what luxury travel will be in the future and I can just take you to the car quickly yeah I, absolutely I always so I always I, love seeing the concept cars you know yeah, they're, a, they're, yeah, they're so amazing hope, yeah I hope you can see how amazing this car is. The sleek lines is a very minimalistic design. And what the designers did is to build the car, to design the car from the inside out. Wow. So what you can see here, this is huge glass dome. No so steering wheel, in, of course. Sit mm. inside the car. Uh, it feels like you're in, in the open space. And it feels actually like a private jet on wheels. There is... <laughs> At the moment, there is no, no steering, wheel. steering wheel because it has full level four autonomous capabilities. But mm. if you really want to drive yourself, you can actually fold out the steering wheel and you can still drive yourself. Mm. Okay. And uh, it's, it, it's, a, it's a very beautiful concept that really puts the driver, so the front seats, in the center of the car. And, and this shows how we imagine luxury travel in the future. Marcus, this is amazing. Now the show is going to, the exhibition is going to go on from now until the 16th of April. And um, are you, will you have other uh, events around this exhibition? What, how, what else will you be doing with it uh, while you're here? Obviously we're hoping everybody goes down to have a look at it. Anything else yeah. uh, special? So, so, so as I mentioned, as I mentioned, uh, the House of Progress is really meant to be a place where people can get together. So, so we will have a a lot of panel discussions here. We will have a lot of events of our cooperation partners where they're also going to be launching um, their products to, to their customers. And uh, we, we, we just have also a lot of uh, customers and friends of the brand and maybe people who have not seen the brand until now who will be just walking in. So until now, we already have uh, over 6,000 uh, reservations for tickets. So. If, if you hmm. want to come, uh, it's, uh, you just go to audi.com.sg, there you find all the different uh, uh, information and you can also book your tickets there. But you have to be really fast because the slots are kind of going faster <laughs> than we actually thought. Got to get it done fast. Uh, Marcus, I know that from previous conversations that you and I have had, you're, you're a, a huge proponent of the future of mobility. And as being in Singapore, there's a, a lot of research being done at the, at the universities here about mobility. What are you seeing as some of the yeah. latest trends 
aside from electric, we all know that that's happening and, and some of the autonomous things happening. But what, what are some of the things that are exciting you these days about what you're seeing happening in Singapore or maybe elsewhere around the world? Yeah, so, so I think definitely electrification is the biggest trend at the moment. I think something that we will see further down, down the line, uh, which will really revolutionize the whole mobility sector, is the topic of autonomous driving, um, which we actually show already here already uh, with the uh, Grand Sphere concept. And uh, another topic is also the topic of shared mobility, so new mobility concepts. Um, that uh, that we are also helping to develop. So so we have uh, our shared mobility uh, concept here, which is uh, Audi on demand, where you can hmm. uh, already now you can rent an Audi uh, for just some hours or even up to several months. Even if you don't own a car and you don't want to own a car, you are still able to drive an Audi. And and that is something that is important for us to think of how the future of automotive mobility will be. Nice, nice. Well, it's a beautiful e exhibition. Uh, any any last questions from, from you? Are you okay? I'm good, yeah. Marcus. Um, yeah. It was great to hang out with you and uh, five women talking about women issues at work. So thank you very much for moderating and inviting us to speak. Yeah, it, there was a great experience here. And actually, what I just want to share with you, when you come here, you can also see the newest electric cars, e-trons, that are going to come to Singapore. That's going to be the Q4 e-tron, which is a more compact version of the e-tron, hmm. which will okay. make it more accessible also to Singaporean customers to get into the e-tron range. And we, we know it's going to be a huge success in, uh, in, in Singapore. And also the Q8 e-tron, which will be launching middle of this year, uh, which is our newest uh, e-tron SUV and Sportback model with wow. over 580 kilometers of range. So that gives you around... Ooh two weeks of autonomy here in Singapore. Awesome. Marcus Schuster, the Managing Director of Audi Singapore, coming to us live from the House of Progress at the Art Science Museum. Uh, you can all get down there until the 16th of April. Get your tickets online at uh, audi.com. Marcus, thanks for being with us today. Thank you, Marcus. Thanks, Glenn. Thanks, Juliana.